we understand this about our cacao. Other people who can feel the energies understand it, but there's a lot of people that go, well, it's chocolate. Come on. It's all the same. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we just sent a large selection of our international competitors, including the other cacao made right here in San Marcos, all of whom got our, their start from us. Mm. We sent it to the lab. The average, the, the best cacao in all of that, the best that came back had a little less than two thirds of the active ingredients mm. and five to six times as much caffeine. Yeah. And I call cacao like that too buzzy, no focus. Mm. Yeah. It just, it is cacao and it's maybe okay for long distance automotive driving. <sighs> but if you want to go inside and connect, mm. Um, literally for everything from, I mean, I use cacao, I get a new camera. It's got a manual that's a half an inch thick, you know, and I want to retain what I read, cacao, <laughs> but cacao without the caffeine. Yeah. So literally from medical journals, you drink our cacao every day in four to six months, all the deposits are cleared out of your arteries and so there's nothing to break loose and cause the heart attack or stroke. Your blood vessels are healed. They relax, the blood flow goes up, but the blood pressure goes down. So you don't have aneurysms, the exploded mm. blood vessels in your brain. Mm. There's a, a new organ the scientists have discovered lining your uh, arteries, veins, and lymphatic systems. It's called the epithelium. And cacao heals it. It's one cell thick. But in the average person, it has a surface area of four to 7,000 square meters and is totally involved in the transfer of nutrients out of the blood and into the cells and the transfer of toxins out of the cells and into the blood. Mm -hmm. um, cacao heals it. Adaptogen? Is cacao an adaptogen? I think it's more than an adaptogen. Okay. Right now... The endocannabinol system, mm -hmm. another organ in the body, is getting all the press. The brain and nervous system have more endocannabinol receptors than any other receptors. Mm -hmm. The endocannabinols in marijuana, CBD, THC, and the related compounds mimic the body's natural cannabinol, cacao has more of the body's natural cannabinol, anandamine, than far more than any other substance known. Mm. So instead of a mimicking compound, CBD or THC, mm. cacao has the original. The range of um, active ingredients in cacao, it is a major superfood and you know, you can isolate all these compounds, right? But when you have them all together, what does that do? And well, it seems to be part of what, what the effect is. Well, it is a synergy. Mm. Mm. And if you ask a biochemist, they'll go, well, there's not enough anandamine. There's not enough phenylethylamine to really affect your neurotransmitters. Mm. Mm. But it does. And that's why cacao is so variable. And because of that variability, my thing became, all right, I work with the cacao spirit. She tells me where to get the cacao that's going to have the goodies. Mm. Less caffeine and more active compounds. And our batch of lab tests shows that we're doing something right mm. because our, our closest competitor had two-thirds, a little less than two-thirds. The average was about 55% mm. of the active ingredients and then multiple times the caffeine. Hmm. So we're doing something right.